Hey, Ty. How you doing? Hey, Samantha. You ready to bust some myths about drug testing? Absolutely. But can we please not call ourselves the... Okay, okay. These are some beautiful poppy seed muffins and bagels you have here. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there about poppy seeds and drug testing. Actually, I just spent some time down at the Next talking with sailors about what they think about drug testing myths. You want to check it out? Definitely. Cool. So what have you heard about poppy seeds and drug testing? Uh, usually you don't ingest too much before a drug test or else it'll pop positive on it. Should I give up the poppy seed bagels and muffins? Hmm. Well, even if you scarf down several, you still wouldn't test positive for opioids because of the poppy seeds. This one is a little tricky, Ty. It is a myth that eating a few poppy seed muffins or bagels would cause you to pop positive. You would have to eat more than two cups of pure poppy seeds in one sitting for that to happen. Well, let's dismiss another myth. <laughs> so what have you heard about secondhand marijuana smoke? What I've heard about secondhand marijuana smoke that you can test positive by being around somebody else that's smoking. You can't use that excuse if you flunk your drug test. In most circumstances, the amount inhaled would be minimal, well below the level the DOD sets for THC positives. And common sense, please. If you're at a party and the air is thick with marijuana smoke, just get out. Mm -hmm. Let's see who else has a question. So I heard that only 10% of the drug tests that get submitted get tested. This one is a big myth. The labs receive over a million specimens every year. Every sample submitted to the drug screening labs gets tested. Every single one. Right. So you shouldn't count on your sample not being tested. Nope. Every sample gets tested. So don't believe this myth or you could be kicked out. Is there another myth to be... Busted. How about dispelled? What a word. <laughs> if I get kicked out for drugs, will I be able to keep my military benefits? Usually no. While there are very rare exceptions, people booted out of the Navy could lose all their benefits. Like what? Retirement, medical coverage, commissary benefits, and their GI Bill and associated VA benefits. In addition, drug positives are reported to the FBI to be retained in the sailor's criminal history file. Wow, there's a lot more at stake than just getting kicked out of the Navy. Exactly. A person separated for drug abuse could lose thousands of dollars in benefits for the sailor and their family. You know, I bet a lot of sailors never really think about the cost of family. It's just not worth it. Any more questions from our sailors? I'm ready to bust the move. Just moves. <laughs> Come on. So what about over-counter medicines? Mm. Sam, that's a good question. Could over-the-counter medications make a sailor test positive? That depends. In the U.S., over-the-counter medications won't cause a positive urinalysis result. But that doesn't mean it's okay to abuse them. Sailors can still be kicked out of the Navy for abusing an over-the-counter medication if their intent is to get high. Mm. So you said in the U.S. Mm. Is there something different about over-the-counter medications like in other places? Yes, Ty. Over-the-counter medications sold in pharmacies or other stores in foreign countries can contain substances that will cause a positive. So a sailor can still be kicked out. That's right, and ignorance is no excuse. Now we have some sailors who want to know more about prescription medicines. Let's give it a look. Great. If I take someone's medication and I have the same symptoms as they do, could I get in trouble if the medication is not on my file? Hmm. Even if you have similar symptoms, taking another person's medication can pose risks to your health and career. Some prescription medications will result in a drug positive. Now, without a valid prescription, it doesn't matter why the sailor took that medication. Never use another person's medication or share yours with others. Let's look at another one. So what have you heard about prescription drugs? So a few years ago, I broke my leg and um, I got some pain medication for it. And someone told me that if I'm still taking the meds now, I can get in trouble for that. It's still in my file, right? Hmm. Sailors must use the prescription for the intended purpose. Prescriptions, especially narcotics, are only valid for a certain period of time. Leftover medication, especially narcotics, should be returned to the pharmacy for proper disposal. So even if it was a valid prescription at one point, it could become an invalid later if a sailor tests positive? Exactly. Hmm. You're better off getting rid of old medications. So, all these drug testing myths are pretty much just that. Myths. Absolutely. The urinalysis testing system is designed to prevent false positives. That's right. Any parting words? Abusing or misusing prescription medication is a prescription for discharge. Remember four important points. Always take your medication correctly. Report new prescriptions to your command and Navy Medical promptly. 
dispose of unused medication properly, and never share. So, how about a bagel or a muffin? Or both. You might hear quite a lot about the urinalysis program. A lot of that information is false. The best way to ensure you don't have a positive test is to not use drugs in the first place. Your shipmates are counting on you. So don't you think we can call ourselves the myth? No. Superheroes of career saving information? Too long a title. Have, have a about... bagel. Okay. Sailors, thank you for some great questions and for helping us dispel some myths about drug testing. Oh, uh, 